Today we're doing strawberries. I've got a whole flat I've got to do. Yeah. Fresh strawberries and they are beautiful. I don't have the time to make my jam today and do other things that I'd like to do. So what I'm going to do is show you how I freeze them to get them ready to do this. So let's get busy. So the first thing I do is I dump several of the packages out into a bowl. And then I mixed one cup of apple cider vinegar to four cups of water. I let them soak. I just swirl them around a little bit. And then I rinse them off really good. As you can see here, I've put them in a colander and now I'm just taking the green part of the strawberry off and I'm coring them. Now, different people do this different ways. I just use a knife, but you can use a straw. I think there's even a tool for this. But I pulled up a stool to my sink and I'm just getting busy. Whether you make your jam right now or just flash freeze them like I'm going to do, you have to do this step anyway. Now, there are many different ways to freeze strawberries. You can put sugar on them and freeze them that way, but I just like to have them individually frozen where I can pull out what I need. Won't these be good, whether they're jam or just strawberries? Won't they be good in the winter? I lost all my volume on this right here, so you'll see my mouth doing different than the words I'm saying. It's funny. You never know. But here what I've did is I've took three towels just to absorb some moisture, and I'm putting some paper towels on top of this. Now, for you that are going to tell me that I'm using too much water, I totally understand what you're saying, but... I will say this, I don't know who's handled these strawberries. I don't know where they've been. I want to make sure that each individual strawberry, besides the vinegar wash, is clean and ready for my family. Now these have been cored, the tops have been took off, and I'm just washing each individual strawberry, checking for bad spots as I go. And yes, this is very time consuming. It's a slow process, but my family's worth it. I'm sure yours is too. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm just blotting them with paper towels to get most of the moisture off. Not the strawberry moisture, but the water moisture from where I wash them. And that's all we're doing, getting them ready to flash freeze. So if you watch me much at all, you know what I've done with parchment paper. I just crunch it up like I'm going to throw it away, and then I spread it out on the pan. Now I'm laying my strawberries individually, not touching, on the pan. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to flash freeze these strawberries. This step right here is optional. I'm just cutting my big strawberries in half to make it easier to thaw when you're ready. Just in case you don't know what flash freeze means, we are going to individually freeze each separate strawberry. That way we can package it up in a Ziploc bag. We can only get out what we need to thaw out when we need it. I couldn't help it, y'all. I had the taste of one. What I'm doing here is I'm slicing up some for a dessert I'm making tonight, and I'm going to put some sugar on top and let them just sit in the refrigerator for a little while. Make sure and stay till the end of this video where you can see the little dessert I'm making for tonight. One pan full of frozen, flash frozen strawberries. Another pan of flash frozen strawberries. A third pan of flash frozen strawberries. I left those strawberries in the freezer about four, four and a half hours. Now I'm just putting them in a Ziploc bag. And back to the freezer they go. You want to make sure and get the air out. And I like to freeze mine flat. Makes it easier to thaw. And I'll just continue this process just like I'm doing. And when you get ready to use strawberries, you can get out a cup full, a bag full, one strawberry. Just thaw it out. It's ready. As you can see, they don't stick together when you flash freeze them. So out of that flat, we got about three and a half gallons plus a small bowl that I'm fixing to make a dessert out of. 
and I can use these anytime for anything. I probably make jam out of these when I have time. I'm taking these right back to the freezer. Makes me feel good to do it. And now y'all let's move on to our dessert. These are leftover biscuits from this morning's breakfast. These are those little tea biscuits that I make and freeze. If you haven't saw that video, you need to go watch it. And I'm placing vanilla ice cream on each little tea biscuit. Remember the strawberries that we sliced up and put sugar on? They've been sitting in the refrigerator while we finished freezing our strawberries. We're just gonna place this on top of the tea biscuits with the vanilla ice cream on it. We're making little strawberry shortcakes, y'all. Easy peasy. What a simple, quick dessert, and it's gonna be delicious. Now, if I had some whipped cream, that would go right on top. Strawberry shortcake with leftover biscuits, ice cream, strawberries, and hopefully whipped cream. Y'all go cook something.